Meet the Lexus LBX. It's poised to become the smallest and most affordable model in Lexus showrooms from next year. And today we're getting a sneak peek. Let's check it out. The Lexus LBX is a new model and a new concept for Toyota's luxury division. It's the smallest model to join the Lexus lineup and is expected to fill the void left by the CT200 hatch. While the previous small hatchback from Lexus was based on a Toyota Corolla, the new Lexus LBX shares its DNA with the Toyota Yaris Cross. While the proportions and powertrain are similar, there are significant differences that set the littlest Lexus apart from its highly regarded Toyota sibling. The body and interior are completely redesigned and unique to Lexus. From the dramatic front-end appearance, sculpted doors and bodywork, sleek roofline, and the signature Lexus tail-end treatment. The cabin is completely unique to the LBX and dominated by two large digital display screens, a heads-up display, and high-quality materials throughout. It might be based on a Yaris Cross, but it certainly does not feel like a Yaris Cross in here. This is a really impressive, luxurious interior. Soft-touch materials across the dash, suede inserts, a large infotainment screen, and physical controls, volume dial, and adjustable tabs for the air conditioning temperatures. Tap shifters behind the steering wheel, a fatigue monitor in front of the driver, and a widescreen digital instrument cluster. It's actually surprisingly roomy up front here, even though it is the smallest car in the Lexus lineup and one of the smallest SUVs on the market today. There's also two USB-C charge ports and a wireless smartphone charger. Although it's comfortable up front, let's check out the back seat. Wow, this really is a tight squeeze in here, but you know what? That's par for the course in the city SUV class. I do actually have a surprising amount of knee room, although it's not hugely generous, and I've got foot room, so I can actually fit my feet under the seat in front, and that does make it a little more comfortable. Though I've got to say, this is definitely better suited to short trips than long drives. As you can see, my body is already halfway across this middle seat position. So in this case, this one really is a two-seater in the back row, even though there are three seatbelts. The boot is small, but that's normal for the pint-sized city SUV class. Under the bonnet, the 1.5-litre three-cylinder petrol engine has extra balancing shafts and other hardware upgrades to make the Lexus LBX feel and sound smoother and more refined than its Yaris sibling. Top-end models of the Lexus LBX have special noise-suppressing acoustic glass in the windscreen and front door windows, believed to be a first for a city SUV. Lexus even redesigned the exhaust system and how it is attached to the underbody of the car so there is less overall vibration and less three-cylinder hum coming into the cabin. So, what's it like to drive? From behind the wheel, if you listen carefully, you can still tell this is a three-cylinder once the small petrol engine fires up after the car starts in electric hybrid mode. But it is remarkably quiet and refined for a three-cylinder vehicle. The steering is light and easy, and the cornering felt smooth. That said, we were on a perfectly smooth racetrack, so we will reserve final judgment until we test the Lexus LBX on local roads. Overall though, first impressions were good. Of the three Lexus cars we were invited to sample on this international media preview drive in Japan, the LBX was the one we went into with the lowest expectations, but came away most impressed. Should you buy a Lexus LBX? That's going to come down to money, and it won't be cheap. Australian pricing is not announced until closer to local showroom arrivals in the first half of 2024. However, given the extra luxury and technology features, the Lexus LBX is expected to be dearer than the Toyota Yaris Cross, which currently ranges from $28,000 to $38,000. By our calculations, that means the Lexus LBX will land somewhere in the $40,000 to $50,000 price range, although this is yet to be confirmed. To sum up, it's either an inexpensive Lexus or a very expensive small SUV. In the meantime, to find out the latest updates on the Lexus LBX, go to drive.com.au Please hit like if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future updates. And to see our first impressions on the Lexus GX, which is the luxury twin to the Toyota Prado, click the link to the video on the screen now.